can we do a small chart for inventory considering what and all we have learnt? Hmm? Accounting standard. Do it in probably landscape format or anything. I don't know the spacing. So we're just doing a chart. It might be small, it might may go a little wider. So whatever you're comfortable or first check and then write, that is also a possibility. We are doing a chart for ES2 inventory valuation. We can refer our handout and keep doing. First, what did we learn? Exceptions, right? AS2 is not applicable for few things. Exceptions. Exceptions is what? Two, it's not applicable for what? AS2 is not applicable for construction contracts. And then, huh? The main important was producers. Producers what? Producers inventory of what? Agri produce mineral ores, forest produce, etc. This is your exception where AS2 is not applicable because all this ex for exceptions, all they'll value it at what value? Valued at NRV. So all these guys who are into well, agriculture produce and all, they can value their inventory at realizable value. You have India's 41 called agriculture. You have a separate standard on agriculture and IFRS. You'll learn there. Fair enough. For now, it's just it just hence they are excluded. One way. Hmm? Uh, next, what is the basis of inventory valuation? What is the basis of valuation? Inventory should be valued at cost or net realizable value, whichever is lower. Correct? How, what are the components of cost? What are the components of cost? Can you add purchase cost? Yes. Can you add conversion cost? And any other cost to bring the inventory to present location and condition. When you're doing a conversion cost, something you have to keep in mind. What is that? Fixed overhead should be absorbed on fixed overheads on normal capacity or actual capacity whichever whichever is what higher because higher the denominator lower the per unit value and lower the closing stock fine and when you're valuing the raw material cost stock how what is the basis of raw material link raw material valuation with raw material valuation to what are you going to link the valuation to to fg meaning what what does that mean if fg at cost means what if fg at cost means raw material at cost if fg at nrv means raw material at replacement cost that is what we have seen yes sir so far summary this is on the last day you need not write in the same font size okay you make it like maybe in landscape nice nice way so that on the examination day it's easy for you Anything is small for you and you want me to repeat? Or you want me to focus? Exceptions you want to still copy? Last point. Last point, okay. Hmm? Starting, okay. One is saying last, one is saying starting. Last is done. Oh, you're saying from first I have to copy. Like I am not copying one or first I want to see and copy. No worries, if you are lagging behind, I am anyway sending this now. You can download it or you can refer your friend's notes and do it. It's fine. It's anyway chart. Hmm. Yes. All right. How should the NRV be valued at? How should the NRV, um, uh, how do you get NRV? NRV is equal to what? Or 
NRV is equal to expected selling price. Can I write SP? Minus what? Minus, it's not the incurred selling cost, minus expected selling cost minus what? Further production cost, if any. This further production cost will be applicable for partly finished goods. That only will further produce. Hence, it is only applicable for WIPs. Done? Yes, sir. Next, what did we learn? Next, what did we learn? We can refer the main this thing and come back. Uh, components of cost we saw, overheads we saw, with this one we saw, next is what? Hmm? Joint product. How should the joint product be valued at? Joint and byproduct we'll say. Or we can keep it separately. Joint products. How should the joint products be valued? Hmm? You have to find what? On a rational basis and one of the rational basis we are using is what? Sale value. Either use total sale value or total sale value at what point of time? At relative split off point. Whenever you're going to split at that point of time, find the sale value and accordingly allocate the joint cost. Yes or no? Or in fact, one second, hang on. Joint products, cost allocation, you're right. Mm, or maybe one second, I'll just bring in one more there. Joint products. <coughs> joint product, cost allocation. Joint product or cost allocation is based on what? Sale value, total sale value or sale value at relative split off point yes or no guys next how about by product how about by product huh you can write number of units also or maybe okay one more bring in one it's okay or based on <coughs> units produced it's basically they're talking about rational basis. Ration could be anything, not only these three, anything else also could be a ration. But priority first we give it off to sale value at split of point, and then if that is not there, total sale value, and then units produce. Just as a book ka convention, not the standard ka standard ka priority. Standard doesn't talk about any priority. They say just rational basis. After joint joint product, what was it? After joint product, it was a case of by product. What should we do for byproduct? Are we valuing it or what are we doing? Hmm? What are we doing guys? Forgot to know. Find what? First step is find what? Realizable value of that byproduct and then to what? We'll call this as RV. Deduct RV. From what? from main product ka cost that's all for joint product yes so far understanding or no? we all this we have done based on that only we're doing charts yes or no okay fine joint and byproduct ka this was the drama after that we learned what we saw what are the costs to be specifically excluded some exclusions exclusions what are the cost excluded what are the cost specifically excluded from inventory valuation first is what hmm? abnormal. abnormal loss and then we saw what storage cost administrative admin and selling overheads fine and what refundable taxes 
anything else was there Mm, selling. selling will come there, no? I think we wrote that, right? Admin and selling cost we wrote. I think that gets covered there. Fine? So yeah, all, everything is covered there? Yes, sir. Next, we learn something known as the cost formula. Cost formula could be cost formula could be what? Either you can use specific identification method. Mango example, remember? Specific identification method. Or you can go for FIFO slash weighted average. Or you can also find out the cost using standard costing principle. Standard costing, marginal costing, you would have learned. You can use that also. Or you can go for retail method. This is your cost ka formula. What did we learn next? <clears throat> hmm? What did we learn next? That's all. Raw material we learned. We already wrote. Link raw material cost to FG. That part we have already written off. Disclosure. Certain disclosure like what car, what formula did you use? How are you valuing the inventory? FIFO, LIFO, specific identification. What method you are using? That disclosure has to be given. And each component of inventory has to be given. Meaning you can't club everything and show it as inventory. In the main balance sheet, you can write inventory. You have to make a separate note for it. And in that note, you have to show this is my total inventory of this. This much is raw material. This much is WIP. This much is finished goods. This much is my tools, dies, jigs. Like this, you'll have to give a split up. That's your disclosure aspect. Fair enough. That's your chart for AS. Is it helpful? Hmm. Yes, sir. Or if you want also you can write disclosure also bring in there no problem last you can write disclosure disclosure could be your cost formula and components of inventory components of inventory components of inventory each component of inventory ka value should be given components of inventory value fair enough does that make sense so copy where should i keep the cursor now first portion exception is okay <coughs> exception is okay hmm? yes basis of valuation cost what are the components of cost that portion is okay this is okay point d and e is okay <coughs> on this one okay fg meaning the finished goods if you're not comfortable remembering the form full form short forms write once and then give abbreviations i mean matlab, use short forms hmm, done now we are nrv ka nrv is okay joint products by product ka? Okay. Exclusions. Certain cost which are specifically excluded from inventory valuation. You are still copying that previous one? Yes. Okay. And I said disclosure. Disclosure is given in notes to accounts. Okay. <coughs> Done. <clears throat> That's your summary chart for AS2. With that, AS2 is done for.